Hey guys, my name is Jesse Mew, and welcome back to Slime Rancher. In the last episode, Mochi hired us to do a little bit of work around her manor. Now we're running the races for Quicksilver Plorts, and despite the fact that it's a little bit more chaotic than what we're used to in Slime Rancher, we're doing pretty well so far. We've managed to win our first reward, and basically what it does is every now and then, when we're selling plorts over at the plort market, Mochi will give us double the profits that we would earn from each of the plorts. So if we go ahead and scoop up some of the plorts that we have over here, we should be able to see it in action. It doesn't happen all the time. She did warn us that she is not the most uh, generous of ranchers. But with her help so far, we've managed to amass over 100,000 new bucks. So I think today might actually be a good day for us to go back to the 7Z Rewards Club too. Maybe see if we can uh, buy one of the rewards that we had waiting inside their shop. But first, let's go to the Plurt Market. So yeah, if we send all of these in, you should eventually see a Mochi's little face on the side of the screen, which means that she was able to work her way around the plort market and give us a little bit of extra money. What I'm really excited for, though, is the reward that's coming next. If we manage to gather up enough of those plorts, then Mochi is going to give us some sort of upgraded chicken coop which will hopefully help us increase a chicken production. Because as you guys know, we have so many tabbies on the ranch. We actually have quite a few different breeds that only like the meat. They have no interest in our fruits and our veggies. So we have to go through quite a few chickens in our time here. But I have gathered up some of the plorts on my own in between episodes. So I think with just one more race, we should have enough to impress Mochi once again. Let's see if maybe the basic race is ready. Oh, just about, just barely. All right, so we'll wait around for a couple more seconds and then we'll uh, try this one out first. I have found a couple of little tips and tricks that might help us gain more of the plorts. So first, let's grab some of these spark shots and then we'll look for those relay rings. These are super important because it actually increases the time on the clock. So we'll have more time to uh, feed all of these little slimes their delicious electricity. Now, if we do end up running out of uh, slimes, or rather if the slimes get way too far ahead of us like they are right now, what kind of helps is to turn around and shoot the slimes as they come toward you. Let them come to you and then follow these new packs because as much as we may struggle, we are never going to be able to keep up with the Quicksilver Slimes. If we can find one of those power-ups too, like the one up here, these should help us out as well. Yes, the Thunderclap! Okay, this one is my favorite. We just have to line it up just right, maybe go up on top of this hill and wait for the slimes to come to us again, and then shoot it directly in the middle of a hole punch so we can gain lots and lots of plorts. Yeah, that is easily one of my favorite additions to these races. The Static Clinger should help us out too, as long as we uh, put it on one of these slimes. Maybe a couple of them behind us as well. I'm pretty sure what they're doing is kind of spreading that around. It's a little bit tricky to tell, but it must be giving us more plorts. So with that, I think we're going to end with 66 of the plorts, unless we can get one more. Nope, they all skittered off back into the ground. So 66 plorts is going to be well more than what we need to uh, get our next reward. So let's try to find the exit here without accidentally falling straight into the slime sea. And then we'll be able to head back home with a brand new upgrade for our chickens. I think this is the first uh, upgrade that we've ever received for the chicken coop before. Of course, Ogden was more about the gardens. So he was able to give us little things that would help us get more food. Oh, did that one disappear? Oh no, I hope it went back into our backpack. But let's see what Mochi has to say next. What the? You collected how many? Well then, I suppose the Deluxe Coop is now available to you. I would say good luck managing all of those chickens, but honestly, you seem to know how to handle yourself. You know, sometimes I feel like this whole planet is a coop, just a pen to keep people far away. Sometimes I feel like my dad didn't send me out here for a special assignment at all. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like I was sent here to stay out of his way. Just a chicken in a coop. Oh, Mochi, is that why she always gives us so many chickens? 
feeling a little bit of a likeness to the birds, maybe. Speaking of chickens, what's a bird brain like you doing hanging around here when there's so much work to do? Let's get back to the task at hand. Give me another batch of Quicksilver plorts, and I'll give you a very special reward. Access to this manor and its plorts. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're already on our last reward, I guess. Kind of like how Ogden gave us the keys to his ranch. My manor would be the one ranch expansion you have that isn't embarrassing. Wouldn't that be nice? It certainly would be because it looks absolutely beautiful. It's hard to uh, see from this barrier, of course. But there are lots of fancy gadgets off in that direction. It looks like she might even have fountains out there. Bridges. Oh, we're going to have to find the perfect slime to raise in this place, too. But how many plorts do we actually need? 700 Quicksilver plorts. Well, this isn't very much. Just a meager start to this giant reward. But I suppose we can understand why. Nothing Mochi does ever comes cheap. Hopefully that doesn't apply to the price of this chicken coop upgrade. Maybe it's a good thing that we have so many new bucks on hand after all. So we do have one chicken coop up here. I guess we can... Oh my goodness. Look at all these roostros. Where on earth did you all come from? I swear there were not this many chickens in here last time I checked. All right, we better send a couple of them off in a different direction. Maybe we'll go ahead and drop the roostros off at the hunter slimes, because I'm sure they're probably super, super hungry by now. I don't think I've dropped any chickens in here for quite a while. Hello, guys. Are you still friendly? The hunter slimes do go feral if they're not fed for a while, so we have to be careful. But we know that you guys love your roostros, and since we have so many to spare, we'll go ahead and fill up your auto feeder with those. And then our tangle slimes do. They seem like they're doing a little bit better. We have unfortunately lost a couple of them. I'm not really sure where they wandered off to. They must have shot out of their corrals like we've seen happen with our pink slimes before. And that means that they could literally be hopping anywhere around this world. Which is a little bit menacing in all honesty. The Tangle Slimes are particularly mischievous. Since uh, they do have those vines that they can use to scoop up food. So that means they could get to nasty plorts. Plorts that aren't their own kind with a bit more ease. So far so good though. We haven't had any Taras hopping around the place. So hopefully it's going to stay that way. And since we're over here, we might as well check out those decorations too. Now, while I was waiting for the generators to recharge, I actually found another decoration tucked away in a corner. This nimble grass patch. Each blade of this grass is apparently superior to the other grass, according to Mochi Miles. Oh, they have little pebbles inside them too. Oh, that is adorable. It looks like we do actually have enough resources to make uh, all of these decorations. So let's go ahead and fabricate these. I think the tree is what I am most excited to see. We'll have to find a good place to actually set up all of these decorations. But I guess for now, just to see how they look, we'll go ahead and plop our nimble needle tree right over here. Oh my goodness. Look how massive this is. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah, this would have been perfect for uh, the Wiggly Wonderland, since they look like little Christmas trees. I guess we could always come back over here with some more of our leftover echoes and give our uh, slimes in the lab something new to enjoy. We'll try out the nimble grass patch. Yes, it actually does have those little pebbles. Oh, that is so cute. And then last but not least, the small magnetic core array, which is all of those uh, floating rocks that we can find around the cliff sides. That is really neat. Yeah, we can't take home the uh, quicksilver slimes to raise on our ranch, but if we could, this is exactly what I would set up for them. Actually, it kind of makes sense to have those rocks over by the lab. It's something that uh, fits a little bit more with that theme, I feel. But let's see if we can set up this chicken coop to be even more comfortable than it was before. I mean, they must have been very, very comfortable if we had that many chickens inside. So the deluxe upgrade. It's only 650 new bucks. A special upgrade designed by Mochi Miles that doubles the number of... 
a special upgrade designed by Mochi Miles that doubles the number of chickens you can keep and moves elders out. Oh, that is actually super, super helpful. So is it just going to like push them directly out? Or is it going to set them up somewhere? Oh my gosh, do they actually have a tiny little TV to watch? Is this chicken news? Beatrix is on the chicken news, you guys. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. You guys are going to love it here now. You have little cushions to sit on. You can watch all of the chickens tell you all of the latest facts about the far, far range. And it looks like this is where our elders are going to be sucked into, just like the aplort machines. In fact, if we put this elder back in here, could we see that in action? Maybe suck them up? Yes, yeah, straight into uh, one of these fancy little machines here. All right, Mochi, I'm pretty impressed. You have really outdone yourself this time. We'll see how many chickens this actually gives us over time. But if we need to, I suppose we could always set up a brand new coop over here. This was where we used to keep our mosaic slimes. But now, of course, they're living very, very comfortably in the lap of luxury at Ogden's Wild Retreat. Yeah, they have all of the food that they could possibly eat and more. I still need to bring some other different types of mosaic slimes into this area. I think before we had settled on maybe the hunter mosaics or the saber mosaics too. And we also wanted to look into buying that number one slime stage so we could make it for our rainbow princess. That way she would have a true throne to sit upon and gaze down on all of her subjects. In fact, uh, while we're waiting for all of those generators to recharge, maybe now would be a good time to see if we can make one of those. We just need a tiny bit more of that indigonium, which means that we probably need to make some more of these drills and plop them down by uh, the indigo quarry. But luckily that is literally just like a hop, skip and a jump away. So we might as well set it up now. Oh, and I guess that means that I won't need my secret little collection of hen hens over here anymore. We'll go ahead and scoop you guys up and maybe we'll set you up in your very own coop. So you guys will be able to watch the chicken news too. Yeah, but it looks like we may have gotten rid of all of our extractors over on this end of the world. So let's go ahead and plop down these drills and now a brand new chicken coop. As long as none of our pesky little tabby slimes escape their corrals, then the chicken should be just fine here. Here you are. We'll place uh, one of the painted hens and one of the roosters inside. And then pretty soon, oh my gosh, was that a chicken game show? What on earth is it that? Oh, I bet Bob would absolutely love watching this channel, wouldn't he? It would probably make him very, very hungry. But I wonder if he ever makes an appearance here. He would probably end up being more like the villain to the chickens in all honesty. We know that Bob is not what he seems. He's not the chicken-loving guy that he makes himself out to be over the range exchange. I wonder if we'll ever get the chance to meet Bob now that all of these updates are coming out that are kind of focused around the different NPCs. I mean, Bob is actually a very, very talented slime, or a couple of slimes rather, considering that they can write to us. Not very well, but they have learned to work the machine to their advantage. And that is certainly something that you do not see every day. I have never seen our tabby slimes write down little requests for Beatrix, leaving notes by her doorstep or at the edge of their corrals. Though it would be interesting if they could write little memos every now and then. Oh, maybe that's what Bob would teach our slimes. They'd give them the gift of communication. And then we would probably just end up reading the same sort of notes every single day about how much they love chickens, about how many chickens they want to eat. Yeah, maybe it's for the best that Bob is so uniquely talented. But let's see if we can get some of the last slimes here. If we can hopefully find some more of those shots. Oh shoot, unfortunately we used every last one on all of those slimes. We have 30 more to send out. Maybe if there's a couple more behind us, we can get the last of those plorts. Oh, it looks like we can actually snag a couple more after uh, the time runs out. Did you see that? One of those plorts popped out after the bell. So we'll have to try to keep that in mind. 
It seems just like Mochi to try to find ways to work around the rules, right? So anything as long as it means more of a profit in her pocket. But that was nearly 100 Quicksilver plorts. So I guess we're well on our way so far. There's still quite a ways to go for the 700 plorts that we need. So I think most likely I am going to try to gather up some more in between episodes. And hopefully next time we come here, we'll be ready to finish off our next reward. So yeah, what do you guys think that we should actually place inside Mochi's Manor? Which of these slimes do you think would be most suited to this area? It's kind of like a hidden resort. Very similar to the royal gardens that we created for our mosaic slimes. So let me know if you guys have any ideas. And before we end out the episode, I think we're going to take another look inside our Slimepedia. Because I'm pretty sure that we should have the Quicksilver Slimes to read about. So the Quicksilver Slime. A swift, sterling shimmer of static slime. Quicksilver slimes are among the rarest slimes on the far, far range, thanks in part to their only known habitat being owned exclusively by Mochi Miles. Quicksilver slimes are lightning quick and feed on electricity. This is generally accomplished by their moving really fast and slowly accumulating the static charge they generate. However, Mochi has decided to speed up the process and create a method for feeding them energy in a far more direct fashion. And that's why she's the only rancher who can actually gather up these plorts and reap the rewards. It does make me wonder how valuable these are. I mean, surely Mochi must be creating a fortune off of these things, if she's truly the only one who can get her hands on them. But with everything surrounding her father, the little bits and pieces that she's offering up to us, Makes me wonder if maybe she's sending them all to him instead? I guess eventually she'll probably let us in on that secret. Quicksilver slimes are not normally harmful to a rancher, as the static they generate has a low current. However, Mochi's method of feeding them a great deal of electricity at once makes Quicksilver slimes temporarily overcharged, with the current high enough to be harmful if touched. And Beatrix knows that very, very well. Do not stand in front of the Quicksilver slimes. So be careful when firing those spark shots, as a mob of well-fed quicksilvers could leave you zapped. And as for the Plordonomics, Mochi sells quicksilver plorts off-market, and little is known about her buyers or their motives. Yeah, that is very, very mysterious. Makes me wonder exactly what uh, she and her father are planning. Or honestly, just her father, because it seems like he doesn't talk to her too much. She seems to be a lot more lonely than she lets on. So I hope that by finishing up all of our quests with her, we might be able to make a better friend out of her in the end. She really seems to be warming up to us. Slowly but surely, we're cracking past that tough shell. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!